Hey everybody, this is Terry with Nations Travels. Today we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, it's a Monday, September the 11th, and the rod run will be this coming weekend in a few days. But we came up here early to look around and uh, we thought we would uh, film some of it and let you see what we're seeing up here today. So we hope you enjoy uh, this video. And if you do, I would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to it. Uh, this is a nice, uh, I think, 68, yeah, 68 Camaro. Looks like he's got a big block in there. Here's a mid-80s uh, four-wheel drive. I had a red one like this myself. I wish I'd never let it go. Here's an old mid-50s uh, panel truck, or early 50s, probably 53, 52, something like that. Here's an old Mercury. I don't know what year model it would be. Probably early 60s, I'm guessing. There's probably not a lot of these survived. I mean, these weren't really collectible cars back in the day that people desired that much. I see there is a 67 Camaro back there, it's orange. And from here it looks good. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This is a uh, 67, I believe, I think. In 68, they lost the uh, vent windows there on the side. Oh, it's really a pretty car. Here's the old 53 model truck. And I really like what they've done with the paint. They've kind of distressed it, but they've done it in a way where it just looks really good and shiny. It's a, it's a clean looking truck. It's got a good wood bed in it. And it looks good on the inside too. It's a really well done truck. They put some really large wheels on this truck here and lifted it. Here's a 55 Chevrolet, it says it's got a 468 big block. And it's painted a flat black and white. It says this is a 1940 Chevrolet pickup. And of course everybody probably recognizes the 57 Chevrolet. Four door still in really good shape it looks like. As you can see in the distance back there, there's several more older trucks. A really pretty white truck, uh, mid-80s, I would say. Here we got a 67 Camaro. Here's a really clean looking uh, pickup truck here, early 70s. Uh, it says it's 71, it says. Well, that really looks good. The paint is really good on this vehicle too. There's a 66 Chevelle that has a manual transmission. Slot. And again, we have a big block Chevy in here, 396 it says. And beside it is a mid-70s Corvette. Let's see if they have it, it's 74. Yeah. A nice four-wheel drive. And this would, would be a mid-60s Chevrolet. Again, here's another truck with a distressed paint job on it. I think they call these five window trucks, but I'm not sure. But I think that's what, what they call these. Here's another 66 Chevelle sitting over there beside a Pontiac. 
Firebird, I'm not sure if it's Trans Am or not. I don't, I don't think it is from, from here, what I'm seeing. And here's a 57 Chevrolet that's really, really good condition. I like it. The interior is, uh, is done really nice. I like it. This is a 55 Chevrolet over here that my wife is admiring right now. And uh, she's done looked at it. She wanted me to take a look. And uh, yeah, it's got cup holders and uh, a custom uh, console built into it. So this is this will be a really comfortable uh, vehicle to travel in, I, I would say. But it looks really good. I can't remember. I think this trim piece down on the run along the quarter panel. I think that was some type of. Uh, special package maybe a california package or something that was back in the day it's really sharp 68 road runner it says 440 magnum i think a 69 is almost identical i think on a 69 this reflector will be rectangular and sit around. And here's another uh, 55. It's painted a flat green Chevrolet. Sorry, I yeah, even. I was doing it. It's green, my favorite color. Shiny. But I live super cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's so shiny. This is a 61 Chevrolet, this light uh, greenish blue. And beside of it is a, I think a 62 or 63. So the body changed quite a good bit there in a couple of years. Here's a 72 Gar Carmen Ghia that's for sale. And for $6,500, it seemed like that would be a uh, good price because you can drive it home. And here's a, I guess, late 60s or early 70s Ford pickup. It says it's for sale. It's got baby moons on it. Or some people call those uh, wheel smoothies, I think. Another 57. It's got really nice paint on it. And what uh, attracted me to it is it has just really nice tan, tan leather interior in there. And they've got a trophy in the back there uh, they picked up somewhere. If you like these vehicles that you're seeing here, a lot of them are for sale. So if you're in the market for a uh, for an old hot rod, or something, this is a good place to come and uh, look. Here's a 53 Bel Air Survivor. I don't know what year they started using the Bel Air name, but uh, I'm thinking it would probably be around the early 50s. 67 Chevelle, I've seen a lot of 66s up here. I think this is the first 67 I've seen so far, but I'm sure there's a lot more up here. Here's an old uh, T-Bird from way back. Here's a really nice pale blue Ford truck. Is that a V8? Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah it's got the V8 emblem on the front grill bar. <laughs> and I think my wife has fallen in love with this truck. And it still has a good wood bed in it, which is always good to see. A lot of people, when the bed was right out, they would just weld a piece of metal in there. really like the lines on this car. I look at, at cars sometimes as if they're art because I knew, know somebody had to sit down years ago with a drawing board and sketch these out. They, they didn't have computer design and things years ago so that's something I really like about these cars. The, the art design of them. Somebody's got a Plymouth Duster for sale here on the 
Trailer 15.5. Seventy thousand for the uh, fifty-five Thank Chevrolet. You, I really appreciate you. Uh, Two-door post. Where is it? Here's one of the early years of the Barracuda. It does have the V8 M1 there on the front of the fender. We used to call these bubble top cars because of the huge amount of glass back here in the back. Here's an old Ford Falcon station wagon that has uh, survived. It even has a, the luggage rack on top. This is a newer model Dodge truck or Ram truck, I think they're called now. But uh, I really like these wheels that are on this truck. I've never never seen those before now when this guy pulls up beside you at the red light you know he means business uh, I see that he does have a blower in there two four barrels uh, probably pretty fast I'd say and here's a Camaro up side of it uh, 68 I think Forty Ford, really good paint on it, and here's a, another one. Here they have chopped a '57 Chevrolet truck. Here's a '65 T-Bird. And it is for sale. And we spotted this vehicle over here in the distance that's part motorcycle, part car. We don't know what it is over there. Here's a mid 60s Chevrolet truck. And beside of it is a truck that I do not recognize. Uh, it looks like they have done some work and extended some things and patched it together. And I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, motorcycle or not but that's okay he's enjoying this as much as i am i'm sure but anyway let me show you the front of this truck i told my wife to look at the horns and she thought i said corn so uh, and here's a row up here of cars This is a Plymouth Scamp, I think. One day I'm going to see. Or it could be a Swinger. I don't, I don't know. Let me, let me see if we can identify it. Yeah, now here's a big Buick convertible from the mid-70s. And uh, we used to call these things land yachts. But it's, it's a pretty good-sized car. And here's another 70 Chevelle beside another 70 Chevelle. And there's a 55 four-door station wagon. And they brightened it up inside with that blue and white uh, interior. But somebody probably hauled kids in the back of this thing years ago. And wow, I hadn't seen this. Here's a, I think, like a 65 or something. Uh, Ford, is it Galaxy? Oh. Yeah, Ford Galaxy 500, but those wheels really set it off in a way. It kind of makes it look like uh, a car you would see at a, a track or something, but I actually like it. It really sets it off, makes it stand out from all the other cars. What is that? Uh, Ford Galaxy 500. I Galaxies were like square and tiny. Mm -hmm. Not that me. one. <laughs> hey, if you're in the market for buying I'll take this one behind me. Okay, let me swing the camera around and let's see what Melissa wants. Why does it say Hertz? Is this a, a I think, is this a Shelby? It's a GT, it's 
do you see anyone hurts uh, rents performance cars? Let me let me see the front end. It's got Ricardo seats in there, which is an upgrade. It is automatic. You know what? I like how this is off to the side. That makes it look sharp. Yeah, and I guess it is just a GT. I'm looking for a Shelby uh, symbol, but I don't see one. What's that? But yeah, that's a nice car. Yeah. I would buy you that car, but look, uh, it's not for sale. It's green. There, there's is there's it no. <laughs> no, they don't rent it anymore. Somebody somebody bought it. Hey, there's uh, either a 59 or 60 Chevy right there. I can tell from the back end, but I can't tell from the front end. Here's a Mustang Mach 1 that look, looks like it's been well taken care of. The thing's really clean and, and shiny. They want 21 for, 5 for it. It's a 2003 model, and it is a manual transmission. Here's a 55. Uh, Chevrolet convertible and in the parking lot of this motel there uh, there are a lot of muscle cars sitting here I see a Cuda a couple of Chevelle Super Sports uh, looks like some early 50 Chevys a 56 Chevy, Chevy and there's like a 64 65 model Chevy pickup from here it looks really good This is really nice uh, Ford Torino Ranchero. My goodness, it looks really nice inside with leather interior. And, uh, looks like aftermarket uh, dash and gauges and wheel. It's really nice looking. And it's sitting beside of a mid 80s Chevy truck. And uh, either it didn't come with chrome or it's been dechromed but it looks really good, good paint, good and straight. And I've seen these, but I'm not familiar with what it is, but I don't know if it's a kit car or what, but whatever it is, it says MG on the front, but I'm, again, I'm not sure. It's 8,500, whatever it is, but there's a Nova sitting back there behind it. And this is one of my favorite cars. This is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. This was a one year only body style. And it's, being a convertible makes me like it even more. But I wish they had made this body style more years than one, but, but they didn't. Here's a Bullet Edition uh, Mustang. And of course, being a Bullet Edition, it does have manual transmission. Here's a white four door 56 Chevy. It has those style American mags on it. And here's like a 62 or 3. Uh, Chevrolet Impala, it does have Super Sport badging in it, and it did have a, have a manual transmission in it also. Somebody brought their boat to a car show, which is perfectly fine, and it is for sale, but I do like these old wooden boats. And this one looks like it's in good condition. Uh, it is unusual though that uh, passengers would sit back here in the back and a couple more up here in the front because the boat is divided by the engine here. It's still really cool. Here's an old Dodge and, and this is a, a big bicycle on the back. Walk down by these trucks here. And I think my wife has found another vehicle that she wants. Yeah. And once again, she's found a vehicle that's out of her price range. <laughs> I think. Oh, no, not this one. What is this one? Everybody stop and take pictures. 
What? This is a nice car. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar. With, I'm curious. not familiar with Fisker, but it looks like it has solar panels on the roof, and it looks like a really nice Are you sports filming? car. Yes, I'm oh, okay. filming. Uh, Look, it's but a 69 Roadrunner. A 68 or 69? Uh -huh. Let me. Well, anyway, let, let me. I don't let know me. What Wiley Coyote's done to those yes, this is a 69. Okay. <laughs> Roadrunner melts. Uh, uh, I think. No, nah, I think the Roadrunner just taking a nap. He's Good. he's gonna be okay. He, he, that's so cute. Yeah, the horn. If I'm not mistaken, back then when you hit it, it actually does make a beep beep sound. Yeah. Oh, the the Roadrunner emblem? No, no, it, it came that way. But yeah, this is a nice road runner. And yes, you can have one of these. Oh, I can? Sure can. Is this one for sale? And what is this is beside this a 67 Chevelle? Uh, I didn't see for sale sign on it. What's on the engine? Coyote uh, Duster. <laughs> I don't know. The Coyote Duster. Beep, beep. Yeah, I can't remember what they used to call these. But, anyway, but it, it's a nice car. Says, yeah. Car. Yeah. Let me get a shot of the front end of that. Yeah, it is. But it needs to be a two door. Look at the front end, though. Is this? Was this on Fast and Furious? I've watched so many of those movies. There's been so many of them. I wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> if it had been. What's the sign? Hey, where can we take a break? Uh, I don't know. This is what he had in that last one. Where he, this is the car he gave up, boy. Oh, the, the one after he raced him. The one, the guy he raced him and gave him, and you know. The car and gave it to him. Sorry, guys. We've been watching Fast and Furious. We're up to number nine. <laughs> These cars. Every time I see a car, this is a '61 Chevrolet Impala, and it looks really good. Uh, when I was a uh, teenager, around 14, something like that, my brother's older than me by a couple of years. Anyway, he got his first car and it was a four door 61 and it was gray and I hated the car. <laughs> but this one I like, this is okay. Here's a pretty serious 66 Chevelle. Uh, got a nice looking big block engine in it. He's added a roll cage inside and looks like he has tubbed the back end got some really big tires back there is this cool or what? yeah that's cool and uh let's see what your model is oh, i think this is a 59 chevrolet wagon Oh, it looks good. Look through the, through the back there. Cool. They have lowered this and uh, did a lot of de detail work to it. I can't get my camera to cooperate with me here. There it goes. And there's a Dodge Cornet over there. There's a 66 or 76 or 67 uh, Chevy 2 over there. My wife has found a Volkswagen bus. Oh yeah, got the vent windows in the front. Got the luggage rack. Oh, this is one of the good ones. It's got all the uh, the windows along the uh, top. Uh, I don't know a lot about these Volkswagen buses, but I heard it was some type of Alpine edition where you could uh, 
look up at the, the mountains over there. Whether, whether that's true or not, I, I, don't, I don't know. But, uh, but anyway, that's what I heard. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to be funny there, but it may not work out too good. And it's got a Meekum auction tag on it, so maybe it made its way to uh, Meekum at one time. And here's a couple of what my wife calls gangster cars. Here's a 57 Chevy they've added an aftermarket grill to. I really like the paint job on this Nova over here. Here's another Nova Super Sport. Here's a 67 uh, Camaro Rally Sport. I always like the look of these hideaway headlights on here. And here's a 57 Chevy truck. I actually had a 59, which was very similar, but it had a four headlight system. And I had it back in the day when they weren't worth very much at all. You could just, they were just sitting around everywhere. Here we have four Chevelle Super Sports in a row right here. And uh, I've noticed there's a lot more 70 models than there are uh, 71 and 72, uh, which are basically the same car, but the 71s had this four headlight system. And uh, I like, like the looks of those a lot better and, and I, by judging by what I'm seeing probably other people like them better too. And now we have uh, three Camaros parked in a row. Two of them are super sports. Again I like, like the look of those hideaway headlights. Here's Hustling Henry. And it's parked beside of a car that I'm not familiar with. I think it's a Chrysler product or something, a Dodge, and I may be completely wrong. But I think it is. It's got Chrysler style 500 wheels on there. And it does have a Mopar engine, so I'm guessing this. But I'm not familiar with this car or these fins back here. But I do like it. And it is for sale. Is it says it's a 63 uh, Dodge Dart. This car here is a little older than, than most that are up here, but it looks really good. I like it. And here is a Studebaker Hawk. You don't see very many, the, many of these cars around. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition. Do a walk around here to the back, let you see the size of the fins on this thing. Now, those were some pretty good sized fins back in the day. And beside it here, I think this is a 65 Plymouth Fury 3. This was a, our family car when I was a kid, and uh, ours, of course, was a four door, which <laughs> made it a little less desirable, but that's why I rode around, around him when I was a kid a motorhome golf cart. I must admit I've never seen one of these before. But looks like he's got him a little bed in there. And there's the steering wheel. And here's a Trans Am. My wife's been looking for one of these. Uh, two engine go kart sitting here. You can, you can find a lot of stuff here at Garage Run. There's a couple of old Honda motorcycles here for sale, and I am I know very little about motorcycles, but I know they're hard to find. So if somebody is looking for some, the number is seven seven zero six five eight nine seven eight seven or nine two eight seven. Anyway, there's the number if you're interested in some. I have no idea what year 
or anything or what size these are, but I thought these were interesting. There's a better shot of that uh, number there. And it's $1,200 for both. Nations, which should remind you of Nations Travels, and it is for sale for I think $28,000. It looks like it has something written on the back. I don't hear the people who uh, have worked on the car. As I was walking by this truck. I noticed that the hood looked like it had a split right down the middle. And then as I looked further, I saw there are hinges here on the front of the truck. And it looks like they have created some system where the front end will flip up in two halves, it looks like. So uh, the owner's not here, but I'd like to see how that uh, actually works. But. Again, you never know what you're going to find here at the Rod Run. Here's an early, I think mid 50s, uh, no early 50s uh, Chevrolet truck. Here's one of the new style Corvettes. Says, says it has, oh, it has a uh, LS engine in it. Okay, that's pretty cool there. 55, a couple of four bits sitting here. Here's a 66 Yabel, and I really like the old style American mags that it's got on there. Looks really good. Here's a nice four-door 57. Uh, you don't see that many of the four-doors fixed up. This one looks pretty good. Somebody has lifted this Impala or Caprice. I don't know for sure which one it is, but uh, the wheels come up to my waist. So it's sitting up pretty high. 66 Chevelle. It's got a big block in it. Here's a purple 57 Chevrolet post, and he's got part of the engine sticking out of the hood. I don't know what is under that cover, but uh, it looks menacing. They're just looking at it. I really like the color on this 68 uh, Camaro here. I don't know if I've seen one painted that color before. It has the white stripes, which I think actually accent that and set it off really good that's a, that's a pretty car this guy says he is just cruising and it looks like he's got some willy bars on his seat there and of course a smiley happy face there on really pretty car I, I doubt my camera picks it up but there's a pretty good bit of metal flake in that paint that's glistening in the sun here 68 Chevrolet truck and it was sitting inside an old 1930s Ford. 